Hello everyone, my name is Korazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, Episode 2. This video originally streamed live here on YouTube on April 6, 2024. I hope you enjoy the episode. Okay. We overslept. We slept in super late. Not a huge problem. Nope, don't use the axe. I don't hear any growls, which is great. Yeah, growls are bad. Growls are muy bad. Uh, and I'm going to leave the bed here because grass is cheap. Hello? Anybody out here? No, good. Let's chat down on the rice, clear that out of our inventory. And we'll get the important stuff, like crotons. Or how about sticks? I'll just do sticks for now. And, you know, I might just take a quick wander through here again. I'm still hearing fire sounds. <laughs> I don't think I should be hearing fire sounds. And let's get some more of this good stuff going on. Just stock up on food like crazy before we go to the desert. Can I reach you? I cannot. How about from this side? There we go. Uh, do these stack to 64? Yes. More sticks. More flint. Got some slate, which means there could be some marble around here. I'm also keeping an eye out for pineapples. They're not like the best food, but they're food. That's trouble. Ooh. We have the green stone, guys. Ooh. Ooh. No. That was... <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. I'm hearing growls down there, too. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty well set to go and join our friends. Hearing more growls. I might want to just grab a couple more of these guys over here. Is the patron channel broken? Uh, no, it shouldn't be. Um, if you're um, if you're signing up to be a patron, sometimes it can take. Patreon Discord a minute to uh, negotiate and get things settled. Um, if it's giving you trouble later, uh, I can pop in manually and uh, get you in there. Oh, here. More papyrus. I want to get enough for a basket or two before we go. Yes, papyrus and or cattails are king in the early game. That's why I'm digging these up with me, because the desert's going to have, like, none. Free food. Okay, so we have a full stack of roots... We'll just take the tops for now, at this point. Don't need seaweed. No, thank you. Oops. No, I don't want that junk. Oh, I have one more inventory slot. Are you kidding me? Um... Well, I have half a mind to like take some bamboo shoots with us so we can grow bamboo and just get some real fast food going on. <laughs> get some more seeds from here too if I can. Early game trees are no joke. Hello, old wolf. Uh, why desert? Uh, I like the aesthetic. Um, I don't know if you caught episode 107 of the original, the first season of the guide. It was the April Fool's episode last year. Um, 
it should give you a hint of uh, my sort of love for the desert. I had a uh, build in that other block game that I spent literally years of my life on. <laughs> and that was sort of showcased in that episode. But I do have a bit of a desert problem. Uh, I've played Wildbender because I love it. Um, I did it on the channel for a little bit too, during the demo. And I play a lot of room where I used to play a lot of room world. And my favorite thing were the super duper dumb hot desert starts. They were just my absolute jam. Fun fact, we won't be able to actually carry anything else with us soon. <laughs> I won't be able to peel this, uh, this bamboo root to eat it. Come here. Just knock this off. I still only have... Oh, I got three seeds. Never mind. We're good on seeds for now. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun making that sphinx. I, uh... <laughs> I was giggling about it for a while. Well, so the place that we're going, I've actually already been there. I scouted out where I wanted to build. Oh, we are full. Okay. Uh, and I do know there is no papyrus out there. Or if there is, I just haven't spotted it yet. And it works far away. Let's get a few more of these guys. Knife is about gone. And then we'll get moving. Six. Sure. Bye, knife. Oh, man. Andy, you are a lifesaver. Seriously. This, uh... I completely forgot about these things. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think Season 1 stands up really well. Like, yeah, it's going to be um, not entirely relevant in all cases. Um, but I think it stands pretty well on its own. It's got a bit of a rough start because it was my first like, real foray into uh, YouTube, aside from my very short-lived RimWorld Sea Ice series. There we go. Let's just refill on these guys real quick. That should be 64. Okay. I am definitely of a mind to take out some of these and see if we can't get some saplings. This is a very green desert, yes. <laughs> Although, I think in the long run, I do want to make a pretty green desert. So, uh, that I think will be a thing. Uh, hello? Saplings? Anybody? Guess not. Yeah, since this isn't a uh, like super duper challenge series, I didn't see a need to restrict myself to only desert environments. Oh, Donner said the illegal word. Yikes. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you liked season two. Yeah, the Hobbit Hole was a, uh, a fun experience. Hmm. It decision time. I think... I'm going to ditch something. I think it's going to be nothing. But there's actually, you know what? I think I do have to ditch something because I can't swim with those in my hand. Um, bye, Flax. I know. You guys are going to kill me for that one, aren't you? Uh, bamboo isn't a super useful material. Um, you can build with it like it's wood. Um, it's really inefficient inventory wise to use for that purpose i'll take a couple more um but it can be used in the early game and for decoration whenever i guess we are we're full of it though so my wife says corazar you're full of it ditch the one block of wood i don't have one block of wood oh that wood Yes, I do have a block of wood. Get out of here. <laughs> I forgot I had that. 
I mean, there is maybe a reason to not ditch it and, you know, dump the bamboo instead and just get more kapok, but yeah, we'll have plenty of kapok. Not to worry. The flax rifice. Okay, I think we are two more bamboo shoots away from heading over to the desert and meeting our friends. And hopefully not meeting too terribly many uh, other friends along the way. Hey, got the flax back. Check it out. Oh. I'm not swimming anyway, apparently. There's a land bridge. Alright, so I have some friends across the way that would like to meet you all. So we're going to go and meet them after I stop being distracted by Papyrus. And I think we'll just walk there. We will uh, take a look at what kinds of things we find along the way. And probably mark whatever we can find on the map. Uh, you know what I can do? I can. Yes. I can make a reed basket. Dump those in the ground. And we can chuck some stuff in here. Like soybeans, because they can't be eaten raw. And probably you guys. And the clay. And the rest of the clay. And these guys. Ho 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 ho. Inventory. Uh, no, resin actually is surprisingly easy to find. Because um, you actually have more variety of trees you can find it on. Uh, there's the normal pines, which you'll find as occasional stand in the desert. And do I spy a fruit tree? Yes, I do. And there's also... Um, acacia can also have resin on it as well. So we have an orange tree here. It's pretty awesome. Get some of these. We have copper too. Okay, so zoom in. Orange tree. And I'll do that guy and this. And then right here we have copper. Boop. There we go. Nice. Getting that copper already. I think I am... I'm not going to pick it up for now. I'm kind of more interested in the super early game resources. Probably by tomorrow or the next day they will come back and get some copper. I am not intending on like taking this particularly slow. I'm not going to speedrun or anything, but I'm not going to be like spending an entire episode talking about how to, you know, make clay items or whatnot. This is not meant to be a, a guide series. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, hello. Not really a cave. You're not my real cave. We are going to be on the lookout for nasty, nasty hyenas, though. Another orange tree, not too shabby. At least we can get our fruit trees going early. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I haven't played the game so long that I just automatically type in the word first, and then I start selecting icons. I'm just so old school, man. Get some blue clay. Where are you? There you are. This place is rife with blue clay, honestly. It's good sign. I spy some gazelles over yonder. I don't think I can really get them, although I do have... I am a hunter. I did do a hunter class again. So, let's make a couple spearheads here. Namely, four. Oh, those are knives. Ah. Uh. <laughs> At least they stack. I hope. Um, I do have auto map markers on, but I think I may need to set it up or something, and I forgot to. So we're doing doing them all by hand now.
Yeah, since this is a building series, um, I have a lot of mods on that will be helpful for gathering materials and building. Um, I don't have a lot of, like, weird survival stuff on. Like, Primitive Survival was out. Um, that actually makes survival too easy, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for a really easy playthrough, though, I mean, that's it really helps. Fishing and so on. Um, I was going to use From Golden Combs, and I do love that mod. Um, the problem with it is that there's apparently a bug where some people, myself included, experience enormous um, lag spikes, like every minute or so. And it was making the game unplayable, so I couldn't use that. But in the future, once they update it, maybe it will be more operational, more reliable. Yeah, deserts are actually a good place to find certain things. Uh, if you're looking for, like, surface materials, surface metal and so on, wonderful. Deserts are the place to be. I'm going to see if I can actually get some of these gazelles. They will sense my presence from a long way away, though. So we're going to sneak up. I get these guys from here. Oh, that's different. Oh no, I I forgot I have the. Uh... Oh wow, yeah, I have the bullseye mod on. Got him. Okay. Well, I'm out of spears. <laughs> Let's see about making a couple more without spooking the gazelle. Hopefully. Thank you, Grass, for blocking my view. Uh oh, that gazelle up and left, didn't he? I am not spotting that gazelle anywhere. He probably saw me. Bye, Kevin. Thank you for joining for what time you could. Oh, hello, trouble. Ooh, extra trouble. Right, let's get our spears and we'll try again. Yep, there goes the gazelle. Do I have all six spears? I do. Okay. Well, Let's see if we can find that gazelle. Hey, there's cassava, the world's worst crop in the desert. At least in the game. Yeah, I'm actually out of room for more, so I'm not going to get it anyway. I'm going to use these unfinished knife blades to pick up this stuff. And we'll just chow down on this junk. And we're going to go back to stalking that gazelle, if we can. Oh man, it is way out of here. Uh, well, got hyenas encroaching too. Let's see if we can sneak up on these guys again. I think the one to the right is a baby. Yeah, you're a baby. We will grab these soybeans. And I might have to forget about the gazelles because they are just too skittish. They're too wily. The babies won't offer much meat. Tell you what, I'm going to spook these over the ridge. And then try to see if I can attack them from above. I have not had a chance to practice with the uh, bullseye mod, so I am very not used to how it works. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy here. That's a long throw, my goodness. Not sure I can even throw that far. Ah! Whatever. Gazelle, you get to live. I ain't getting you. Alright. We need to go east. We also need to get some grass for another bed. So we'll do that real quick. As well as another fire, at least. So we'll do that real quick before we get into hyena territory.
Hey there, like filter. Welcome. Oh my, that's a hyena. Oh boy. All right, come here, you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here, you. I will get you. Gotcha. Our first kill. That's right. Whew. <laughs> the desert is actually to the east. <laughs> We're not in the desert just yet. That's right. We have hides that now actually will spoil if we don't uh, do something with them right away. So I'm thinking... We will actually turn these into pelts straight away. Three four pieces of grass just for backup. Let's see if we can go find our spear again. Spears, plural. Oh, we're actually out of spear room. All right, bye bye you. Uh. Ooh. Raw bush meat. Bye. And anything else I can chuck? Nope, I think we're pretty well good there. Um, uh, let's let's go east. We are headed a little ways east, but we are now going to go dive into the desert, folks. So uh, I think I'm going to run through here. <laughs> going to run the gauntlet of. Uh, these guys. Well, they have a pretty small chase radius. But check it out. There are the monuments that I saw. And I was like, this would be a perfect screenshot for the initial, uh, like, initial video and the uh, announcement. Something else over there looks like. But we are going to just carefully wend our way through the desert, and by wind, I mean walk in a mostly straight line. Yeah, I would have cooked the, the bush meat if it wasn't already almost nighttime. Now, it is only low uh, activity, but... Oh, hello. Oh, we have malachite and boatloads of it. Check it out. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Don Hill, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That is amazing. Thanks for all the great entertainment cards are. I appreciate your time and effort spent. I appreciate you very much, sir. <laughs> uh, Malachite is going to be green. That threw me off, threw me off my, my focus. <laughs> Thank you for that. Let's get some torch going on here. See, we'll take out the uh, the ruin here. We'll take a quick peek at it. Because I have already, I mean, been here, so I know it's here. Uh, with termite nests, you can eat them. Uh, well, you can eat the termites in them. Uh, so we have some bookshelves in a chthonic vessel. We have a ruined translocator, and we have an ore vessel. Um, no other obvious signs of anything else. So we'll come back to that later. Ooh, we do have some free food sitting up there. Uh, yeah, Malachi is a copper ore. And they're, they spawn, like, they're actually deep ores. Let's see if we can right-click that. There we go. They spawn as deep ores, even though they're at the surface. So they typically are large veins. We might not need to do much hunting for copper. So yeah, we have a desert that's going to be half limestone and half sandstone. And right over there, you can see where my friends are. If this torch would not, you know, blow smoke in our eyes. We're going to go say hi to our friends over here. Take some spare flint. Why not? Ah, uh, yes. That is from Better Ruins. So there are going to be ruins everywhere. Like it's going to be the point where we're going to be... Hello, Led. We're going to be, like, getting tired of finding ruins almost. <laughs> Get some lead going on here. More flint. And 
There are a couple gazelles. Eh. I don't have the inventory space to hunt them yet. Yep, the lake will be nice for early game uh, farming, although I don't know if it's going to be a salt lake or not. It is pretty big, so it could be salt butter. Oh, get back here. Don't have a free hand. Uh, yes, it does spawn in the world. Uh, no, I, I did a lot of tinkering with the game. I did not end up changing the loot for better ruins so it is <laughs> it's going to be like a, a loot pinata <laughs> whenever we go into a, into a ruin but again that's okay this isn't meant to be any sort of challenge this is supposed to be a take it easy and just have fun building and exploring kind of thing plenty of flint which is perfect again a reason why the desert is really handy in the early game flint and copper nodes are really the spot but yeah, check it out. We have a trio of friends out here in the desert. Hello, Leo. Hello, Loon. And hello, Farad. And hello, Sunbear. <laughs> they apparently set up camp on top of a hot springs, by the way. This, I wonder if this is hot water. That'd be interesting if it was. I can't do much with it, but it would be interesting. So yeah, this is where I wanted to set up camp initially for the first shorter part of the leg of the game. And I think what I want to do is my initial goal here is going to be I want to build a little oasis around these guys. And maybe like a little walled oasis um, so we can have some safety and just have a neat bit of aesthetic going on. Oh, and uh, it seems we don't need to make a cooking pot. <laughs> Cool. We don't have a bowl, so we can't really use that anyway at the moment. But, yeah. This is where we're going to set up shop. We're going to have probably plenty of storage. We will have a very annoying bear. Um, that's okay. Oh, there's no storage in here. That's unusual. How about in your cart over here? Uh, we have a table. And a bed. The bed's great. I'm kind of seeing a significant lack of storage here. Which isn't terrible, honestly. How about the backs of your carts? Nope, we've got a door. We've got a vessel we can't even use. And we got nothing. Okay, so no storage here. No free storage. But free bed and traders. Of which we have an artisan, a commodities trader, and a runaway trader, apparently. Um... Is that you over here, dude? Yes. Why are you all the way over here? Survival goods. So yeah, that's a uh, it's a pretty good mix. Uh, I don't know. They're probably just cruel, but yeah, I I might have to put the bear out of its misery at some point because it's gonna get real annoying, growling at us all the time. So I'll, I'll set it free. Maybe maybe we'll go into creative and we'll just break a couple of these blocks and set it free, chase it off into the sunset. I think I am going to... Yes, hello. I think I'm going to sleep for now. We don't really have anything perishable in our inventory. And there we go. Uh, what will the future base look like? Um, it's going to be desert, desert theme. So, uh, lots of sandstone, probably some contrasting colors. Uh, the only creature mod I have at the moment is... Um, the medieval expansion mod that adds the cows. Uh, I actually wanted it without the cows, but it's apparently not possible to turn them off. At least as far as I could tell. Oh, I'm starving in my sleep. Woe is me. What the heck? Just my luck. Yeah, it's raining, guys. <laughs> it's a Corazar. It's a Corazar video now. It is raining. <laughs> Just stack of these guys. And we'll just chow down. Mm -mm. Bamboo in the morning. Bamboo in the evening. Bamboo for supper time. 
With bamboo on a bagel, you can get a bamboo anytime. All right, take care, Lake Filter. Uh, no, I'm not doing Dune 2 <laughs> or doing anything. <laughs> I have uh, I have a couple ideas in mind, and I think we'll talk about them a bit as we start gathering materials. But in order to do that, we need to start setting up some kind of production and storage here. So we are going to... Whoops, pick that up. I'm going to throw that down for a second. And probably these guys too. There we go. I'm going to drop this guy on the ground. Uh, you are very full. And I am one papyrus short of another reed chest, so let's go find some more. I need literally one more. There's some cows over there yonder. Um, I don't spy. There's some over there. Okay. I will need to probably leave my torches somewhere. Good morning, Hypnotic. Welcome. Glad you could make it. <laughs> yeah, they do want breakfast, don't they? They would. Um, oh, my goodness. We are definitely full up. Oh, you know what I could do? Is I could, actually, take some of these bad boys. And we're just going to lean some of these spears up. Like, whoops, against it. There we go. And that will give me enough room to get that off my bar. And we should now be able to go get some more Pyrrhus. And therefore storage. That's a cow. Okay. It was very suspiciously bear-shaped. And I am not here for bears. Now, I have the zoom button reborn mod enabled here. That's what lets me zoom. The default, I think, is Z. I have it set to something else, because I'm a lefty, using a different keyboard layout. Um, I'm going to zap. I'm going to zap this guy here. Hey, buddy. There's a long delay with this uh, bullseye mod. Hello. Gotcha. Between your pro and recovery. Boy. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll uh, skin this guy. I, once again, don't have room for much. I am going to do this, though. <gasps> oh, here we go. So this is another mod I have on. This is the Better Clay mod that adds red and brown clay into the world as an obtainable item. So that will be pretty cool. I might use some... Red and brown clay for things like roofs and chimneys and so on. Uh, no, Emily. Uh, first of all, welcome. This is my first stream uh, ever. <laughs> so, pardon any strange uh, hiccups or whatever. I have never done this before. But so far, I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm not sure what all the colors mean for that... Uh, that uh, better aim mod. Uh, I've never used it before. I haven't practiced with it, so I really couldn't say. Just doing some early game grind. Avoiding hyenas. Bun bun. bun. Better run. Uh, I used better clay, I think. There were a couple options. Um, I would think of it for better clay. There we go. Oh, hello, hyena. Could you, like, not? Let's go. Boop. You've been booped. Yeah, see you, dude. 
and yeah, you can't just uh, really spam the uh, spears anymore. Woof. There we go. Master hunter over here. Leaving all the meat on the ground. That's me. I think it will come back for this, though. Just gonna note that it's here in my head. Hello. Oh, this guy I already got. Uh, where was the second guy? Here you are. Ooh. We got five pelts total. That's... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, ooh. I'll take the fat. Absolutely. Our first chance at getting a permanent light source? Yes, please. <laughs> you know, as much as I'm sure everyone's tired of the rain, having rain in the desert is really calming. I just... You're not calming, though. Thank you, sir or madam. Okay, let's get our second reed chest going here. Here we are. And let's do some inventory Tetris. Uh, we're going to dump seeds in here, buy seeds. Uh, we're going to drop these guys in here, more seeds. Actually... I might plant the K-Pox. Drop you, drop you. You can stack out here, just fine. Um, I only do one Vintage Story series at a time. I learned my lesson trying to do the VSG original series and uh, um, Rusty Gears at the same time. Um, so once this season is over, which I don't really know when it will be, um, probably not for a good long while, I'll move on to probably another guide series. Um, I haven't decided for sure yet, but it'll probably be another guide series, and it'll probably be either 1.20 or 1.21, sort of depending on when they come out, really. Okay, well, we are we are doing pretty well here. I'm going to go and plant some things. We need to plant some trees. We might also want to go and check out this water here. Um... I'm not sure how to tell whether it is salt water or not. Boop. Get some clay. Or not clay. Flint. I know my words. Hmm. Well, let's just drop a piece of dirt here. Let's make a hoe. I think if you hoe it, it should tell you whether it's being irrigated with salt water or regular water. I guess fresh water be the word. Uh, well, it doesn't say anything's wrong with it. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Jer. That's real nice. Um. Let's yeah. Let's let's try it. Got some flax seeds here we can plant. It is 31 degrees. I think we're good here. In a bowl. Okay. Um. <laughs> Do I risk it for the biscuit? Sure. Mm. I think we're okay. I think we're okay here. It also isn't very big, which usually means it's not going to be uh, salt water, but not a for sure thing. All right, take care, Emily. Thank you for stopping in. Well, everyone, that's going to about do it for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and possibly a comment below. As always, my name has been Korazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.